Hello, my name is Jaromir. I'm the Managing Director and E-Commerce Consultant of Creative Style. In the short presentation, I would like to go into all the essential basics of a successful ERP integration with Magento. The presentation is intended for e-commerce and project managers who are facing such an integration and do not want to make the wrong decisions. Let's go! But before we start with how to integrate an ERP system, I would like to briefly explain what an ERP system is. ERP stands for Enterprise Resource Planning. The purpose is to plan, control and manage resources, people, equipment and materials in a timely manner and according to demand. Today ERP systems can do much more and the range of functions can vary depending on the software used. Here we can see an overview of typical features that a modern ERP system can contain. It's managing the master data of a product, like the SKU or the name of a product, the stock, it manages the orders in the order management system, it's responsible for the accounting and generating invoices, the reporting, managing and planning the production. It contains customer data in the CRM. It contains further product information in the PIM. It is responsible for the supply chain, the delivery and delivery status, controlling, business intelligence. It's managing the documents and the assets in the data asset management system and it's responsible for human resources as well. Luckily, we don't have to integrate all ERP features with Magento. So we have to focus on only some of them. So what data must be synchronized between ERP and Magento? Let's take a look at a classic setup. Suppose we use SAP as an ERP and Akineo as a PIM. First of all, we have to synchronize master data. The master data usually is managed in the ERP system. That's a centralized system. And uh, we want to push this data to Magento. So we have like the most important product information there, like the SKU, the name and the pricing. Then beside that, we also want to have the stock information, right? So also the ERP system is responsible for managing the stock. Uh, it has the most accurate data about the product stock. And then we have the orders. So usually when in Magento an order is placed, we want to push it to the ERP system. But depend on Depending on how advanced your ERP integration is, sometimes you also want to have orders saved in the ERP also pushed back into Magento. So in Magento, you as a customer see your omni-channel orders. And then we have the delivery. Um, Magento has to know the delivery status because you want to inform your customers about the status and when they can expect their order to be um, shipped. Then we have customers. When a customer is ordering in your Magento store, you want to push this customer into the ERP system. And um, sometimes there is this requirement that when the customer data is changing in the ERP system, you want to have this also synchronized in Magento. Beside that, we have the returns. So um, when a customer is returning a product, uh, Magento has to be informed about that. Um, to update the order status 
and maybe to trigger some refund. And usually additional product attributes like the color of a product, the description um, is saved in the PIM. So you have to synchronize this as well. Sometimes if there is no PIM available, um, you can manage this product attributes directly in Magento. And same with the assets. Um, an asset is usually a product picture. Um, in case you have a PIM or a DAM, a document asset management system, then um, these pictures are stored there. If you don't have this, you can also manage product pictures uh, directly in Magento. So this is like a typical full ERP integration. A mistake that is often made in projects is that you want a comprehensive and fully automated ERP integration from day one. But sometimes this is not even necessary and not cost efficient. Therefore, we often recommend an MVP approach in the first release. MVP stands for Minimum Viable Product and means creating maximum value with minimum effort and features. If you do it like in the graphic on the right, you have found the right MVP approach. What does this mean for our integration? Well, an MVP integration does not require much. The synchronization of master data like SKU and prices, the stock and orders. With this integration, you can already sell products in your online store and generate revenue. The remaining points can be maintained manually in Magento and can be implemented and automated in a later release. So what is necessary for a successful ERP integration? There are three aspects to this. The API, which is the interface between the two systems. The mapping of data between the systems. And finally, extensive end-to-end -end testing. Let's start with the API, which enables the communication between the two systems. Today, a few standards have been established, all of which Magento can handle natively. Furthermore, it is important to decide whether data is transferred to the ERP system or whether the ERP system retrieves data from Magento. This is called push and pull. The push variant is often the more recommendable because it transfers data in real time. Every decade, a new API standard was introduced. File Exchange, SOAP, REST, and GraphQL are the popular standards today. And the good news is that Magento supports all of them natively. The current formats are usually XML or JSON. Nearly every system supports automatic export or import of files. This can happen, for instance, once at night but has some disadvantages compared to interfaces that communicate directly via URI. The key advantages of file exchange are the simplicity and the flexibility. SOAP is well established in SAP and the Microsoft world. And REST and GraphQL gives you real-time communication and flexibility. The disadvantages of a file exchange is there is no real-time communication. So your stock updates happens only once at the night or once every hour. And there is also no data validation. Because most ERP systems can handle at least one of these standards and Magento supports all of them, the interface is really a major challenge of ERP integration. In the so-called data mapping, the data from the source system must be assigned to the target system in its database. Let's compare the data sets of an ERP and store system. 
Often we experience historical data chaos in EOP systems because the systems and data have grown over many years. Sometimes the database fields are not maintained in English, the data types are text fields instead of numeric fields, or combined in one field. In data mapping, it is now necessary to normalize this data and assign it to the Magento fields. This is a manual process that has to be done initially. This can be very time consuming depending on the number of data fields or product attributes. In addition, you have to configure in Magento what to do with the product attributes. For instance, some of them are used for after search navigation so that customers can filter products. As I already mentioned, the effort depends on the number of product attributes. A shoe retailer usually, usually maintains only a few attributes such as shoe size, color and material. A do-it-yourself store, on the other hand, contains hundreds of product categories and thousands of product attributes. After the API and the mapping is set up and configured, everything must be tested. Ideally, in a so-called end-to-end test. At Creative Style, we test this not only on a system level, but also the whole customer journey. From the order on various devices to the delivery of the product and the returns process. To be able to track exactly what happens and which step and check what has been communicated to other systems, we have implemented a granular status system including logs in our MateSuite ERP connector. In the end-to-end -end test you often notice things like data can't be processed because a product contains special characters or the mapping is missing. Product images are not updated because there was no interface or there are problems with the caching. ERP orders are not accepted because product prices differ or discounts are not shown on the invoice. Forgotten that for larger shopping carts, partial delivery can be made with multiple shipping tracking numbers or the credit card can only be partially charged. Or in case of returns, the credit notes must be triggered via the payment service provider. These are just a few of thousands of scenarios that are identified and ideally specified in advance. Many retailers have great respect for the integration of an ERP system. They are afraid that this will be a costly and time-consuming undertaking. They hope to find an all-in-one solution in so-called ERP connectors which extensively links the systems with each other with just a few mouse clicks. However, many of these connectors only provide limited help. As already mentioned, interfaces are now standardized. The greatest amount of manual time is spent on mapping and end-to-end -end tests. No connector can do this work for you. Instead, trust in experienced service providers who integrate a wide variety of ERP systems with Magento on a daily basis. If you have an ERP project coming up, make sure you consider the following common pitfalls. REST and SOAP APIs are great because they allow real-time communication and validation. However, make sure that your API does not become a bottleneck. For example, sometimes it is recommended not to make a separate API request for each product update, but to bundle requests or disable certain triggers like re-indexes. Otherwise, it can easily happen that an extensive product import can take several hours. In an earlier Meet Magento presentation, our Magento senior developer Krzysztof explains how we update over 1 million products in a Magento store every day. At this point I recommend to take a look at the YouTube video. But even if you rely on file exchange instead of real-time interfaces, the performance can be increased enormously. Suppose your ERP system manages 20,000 products. Make sure that you do not export 20,000 products every day, but only those that have changed since the last export. This is called a diff file. Magento only needs to process a few lines of data, which saves a lot of time 
and makes it possible to increase the frequency of exports and the accuracy of your Magento data. Last but not least, every successful project depends on the right setting of responsibilities and good communication. Please keep in mind that for a successful integration, all three parties must work closely together. The integration is not only the task of the Magento service provider. The Magento and ERP service provider is responsible for setting up the API and mapping. The e-commerce and fulfillment managers are responsible for specifying the end-to-end -end tests. Define clearly who is responsible for the execution of the end-to-end -end tests. Shifting the entire integration to one party will rarely be successful. Make sure that all parties have reserved enough resources, time and budget for integration and communication. These are all basics you need to know for an ERP integration project. Last but not least, we have some good news for you. If you are in the process of evaluating which Magento partner is right for you, when you sign up for a Magento project, we will provide you with a proof of concept of the basic ERP integration for free. Just contact us, we will be happy to advise.